Good afternoon. We're uh, going to let every, uh, everyone get on here and give them an extra minute. Be, be back shortly. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, local marketing for the construction market. My name is Neil Brown. I'm chairman of the Construction Marketing Association. I'll be your moderator and speaker today. And uh, just a couple of reminders. Uh, one is if you have questions, please use the GoToWebinar tool to pose your questions early and often. And then secondly, a copy of this presentation deck will be av made available to all registrants and all attendees in a follow-up email. So uh, don't worry about uh, taking too many notes today. Um, and then lastly, uh, we will have a, a Q&A as well at, at the end. So with that, I'd like to take a look at our agenda. So I'll briefly uh, introduce our sponsors who are underwriting this uh, program today. Uh, but then we'll get right to our topic. Uh, we're going to look at uh, top local marketing tactics. And then uh, we're also going to look at top construction marketing uh, tactics. And, and when we say construction, we mean all facets of the construction industry, whether you're a construction services company or whether you're a building products manufacturer selling to construction firms. Um, as mentioned, uh, we will have a Q&A. And then uh, finally, uh, this uh, presentation will have a number of related resources that I will refer to uh, throughout the presentation. So again, welcome, and I'd uh, like to introduce our sponsors. Uh, Anespro PPE is a manufacturer of electrical safety personal protective equipment, and Modern Marketing Partners is a full-service marketing uh, agency, digital and traditional marketing that uh, has experience in the construction and related uh, categories. So thank you to our sponsors. So with that, let's uh, look at those top local uh, marketing tactics and then we're gonna drill down uh, into each of them. The first is uh, website SEO, uh, local SEO and local citations. So we'll give you some more detail on that. Uh, next, we're gonna look at uh, paid search and uh, advertising, followed by email marketing, uh, referral programs, uh, events, and events. So events being the last one. So uh, search engine optimization, or SEO, um, is actually going to be covered in uh, construction top construction marketing tactics. Uh, so at this part of the presentation, as we discuss local, we're going to more focus on local SEO and local citations. 
So let's talk about those a bit. Um, the first is uh, Google My Business uh, or GMB. So it's very important to uh, establish uh, this. It's, it's complimentary, it's free from Google to establish your business to register with this uh, primary directory. And then there's uh, literally hundreds of other what we call local citations or directories uh, that uh, you want to be sure to have a consistent uh, map or name address phone number um, down to comma usage even. And uh, you want to have that consistent with your Google My Business so it's read as one uh, business type. Um, and I have in parentheses here, Bright Local is a um, service, uh, software as a service, subscription service that uh, can automate and manage uh, this process. So, and we have a, a resource on that that we'll share with you later. Um, and then finally, there's um, a code called Local Markup Schema that uh, you code around your addresses, whether you have a single address or, or multiple. And this also um, indicates to search engines um, um, your location, which is important for serving up uh, local search results. And last but not least, uh, encourage reviews. And um, reviews are uh, certainly local. And uh, so we have some resources for that as well that, again, we're going to share. So uh, one of the leading sources uh, of SEO is, is Moz. And um, this is how they break down uh, localized organic ranking factors. So we do see uh, uh, Google My Business here as an only 9% factor. Um, and 28% uh, factor is uh, linking or uh, links uh, to your website. So, so this, uh, I'm sure you've heard of building uh, authoritative uh, backlinks to your website. So this is uh, extremely important still and is part of a broader SEO effort, but is also very important uh, for a local level. So that on page uh, that uh, NAP is coming back here, uh, name, address, phone number, company name, address, phone number being very consistent, uh, keywords and titles, your domain authority, et cetera, is a big percentage of uh, ranking factor. And then uh, behavioral signals, meaning click through and mobile clicks and check-ins and things of that nature. So. So uh, good information on local, but this is uh, extremely important and number one in our local marketing tactics. So now let's look at uh, paid search and advertising. We've kind of combined those together here. Uh, the most first and most frequent is uh, pay-per-click or PPC, and that is generally the uh, Google AdWords network, but uh, maybe other networks as well followed by uh, remarketing. Now remarketing, uh, sometimes called retargeting. This is uh, when you visit a website and then uh, shortly after that same day or the next day or the next uh, week, uh, you see banner ads when you're on the Google uh, AdSense network. You see banners from that same uh, website. So, so that is called remarketing and it's a uh, uh, very inexpensive compared to pay-per-click, so we do recommend it for uh, all of our clients. Uh, the next, uh, the, one of the reasons we combined uh, advertising with paid search was that social advertising is becoming very effective uh, for uh, especially business to consumer brands, but, but also B2B as well with uh, certainly Facebook being the leading network, um, but also LinkedIn and other networks as well. And uh, another type of advertising is display advertising. 
and uh, or programmatic, which are the banner ads that again you would see served up on networks. And getting into some more traditional advertising, since we're on the subject, would be job site signage if if you are a uh, services firm, uh, neighborhood door hangers and direct mail, things of that nature are relevant to uh, trade contractors and remodelers, um, less so to you know building products, manufacturers, etc. So let's look at uh, the next uh, key to local marketing, and that would be email. And uh, we always start our, our conversation with email by talking about uh, the list itself. Uh, now, email open rates and email click-through rates are declining over time, so it's very important to build large and larger uh, email lists because you know, only a fraction um, are opening and then clicking through, so, so that large is very important. Uh, now it's possible to verify emails before you send them so you know that uh, the emails are deliverable and uh, so there's some good uh, free and uh, low-cost tools for that. Um, then we have acronym soup here. Uh, we recommend using an email service provider or ESP um, but you can also use a CRM which is customer relationship management software or a marketing automation software like uh, HubSpot or Mercado. So, so those are all options for distributing email. And then let's talk about the email itself then. Uh, there's a, a number of components. Uh, there's the copy, uh, the design, the subject lines, and uh, calls to action, CTAs or, or offers. So all of these uh, things come together in uh, designing an effective email, and we have a number of resources and tips for that. Let's talk about another aspect of email, and that is uh, you can do email campaigns, uh, you can do tar targeted, uh, segmented emails, uh, personalized emails, uh, uh, nurture emails, meaning uh, you're touching the uh, the contact, the record, over time uh, based on their decision-making cycle. And then lastly, our trigger or automated emails. So if someone completes out a form, you send a thank you, uh, that kind of thing. So those are automated emails. And then there's the whole subject of email metrics. Uh, so any uh, every ESP, CRM, or marketing automation tool provides a dashboard with metrics that may include opens, uh, click-through rates, uh, bounces, both hard and soft bounces. Uh, soft bounces could be out-of-office replies, uh, so those are still valid emails. Uh, and then uh, hard bounces are, are non-deliverable emails, and those are typically, they're automatically uh, removed from the email list from the ESP or CRM. Uh, and then finally, uh, in analytics, you can measure traffic uh, from your emails, which, which is uh, always uh, interesting to understand. So let's talk about uh, referral programs. This is kind of old school and traditional, but uh, one of the most basic uh, aspects of a referral program is incentives. And uh, they could be as um, basic as a $5 Starbucks gift card, or uh, they can be more substantial than that as well. Uh, the other uh, re related to referral program is case studies. So case studies are very important, uh, no matter what uh, category you're in, B2C, B2B. Um, so after a successful project or a successful contract, um, if that customer had a great experience, then you want to encourage them to allow you to interview them and potentially even videotape that interview to be able to use that downstream in marketing. Uh, so a post-project survey might be a similar undertaking. 
and uh, so maybe these uh, could be switched here, and a positive survey could identify the, the, the case study opportunity. So uh, networking uh, at different types of events, uh, we're going to talk about events uh, separately, but networking is certainly an, an opportunity for referrals, and uh, we would recommend uh, having on your business card a uh, referral reference, and uh, it could be on the back of the card, referrals appreciated. Um, provide my email to a, a project, a potential project, and receive a $100 uh, gift card, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, have it just right there, or have it on a flyer that you hand out. Uh, the next piece of referrals are recognition. So, uh, first of all, uh, sending a personalized thank you to anyone that gives you a referral. Uh, second, you can recognize referrals with uh, holiday cards, um, with uh, birthday cards, that kind of thing. So those are all recognition. And then uh, the other way to get ensure uh, ongoing referrals is reciprocation. And what that means uh, is pretty obvious, but if you provide a referral, you can ask for a referral in return. So uh, if you are active in giving referrals, then, uh, then you uh, as well will get referrals. So, so that reciprocation aspect is uh, very important uh, to a referral program. And finally, there are brokers um, that uh, in, a, in every industry that um, you know, will work on a commission basis, and you could identify those types of brokers and, and uh, enter into uh, a broker agreement uh, that is uh, uh, clear and uh, simple and, uh, and then leads to referrals. So, so these are all possibilities. And uh, so with that, let's talk about events. Uh, so there's a number of opportunities for events at a local level, uh, chambers of commerce, uh, trade shows, depending on what industry, what category you're in, expos, uh, there's business networking groups of all kinds and for all industries. And again, that referral business card would be good to bring to that. And then there's uh, certainly trade association meetings and networking sessions uh, that are that are valuable. So, so uh, next uh, we're going to move on then to uh, top construction marketing tactics. So these are not necessarily uh, local, but they're tactics that you should do to be effective. Maybe as a foundation for your local marketing program. So website optimization is number one, uh, content is uh, number two, followed by social media, advertising and publicity, or traditional methods, and self-improvement is always good for uh, uh, construction marketing effectiveness. So let's talk about uh, website optimization and uh, to do that, I will have pulled from a, a recent CMA blog, our contractor website checklist. So number one is uh, that that website should be mobile and responsive. Number two, uh, website, your website should be uh, have an SSL certificate and have a secure domain, the HTTPS uh, uh, domain, and um, now if you do not have that, well, it is a ranking factor, one, and two, uh, there is a not secure message uh, to the left of the domain line in certain browsers like Chrome, so it's uh, very, very important to, uh, to get uh, that uh, SSL and HTTPS, and it's also inexpensive to do, so so why not? Uh, website Content Management System, or CMS, um, allows you to edit your entire website, so that's uh, pretty important in 2019. 
we talked about search engine optimization. So um, there is no reason not to have perfected SEO again in 2019. All the platforms and, and features are readily available. So uh, on page is the most basic, all on page SEO and uh, easily attainable. And then uh, what's a little bit more difficult is link building and that's off page. Um, so you saw that in that Moz reference that uh, authoritative links is extremely important. So, um, so SEO, we have some resources for that. Now in the construction category, I believe that our industry is extremely visual and therefore uh, images and examples are very important along with uh, testimonials and case studies. So these are magnetic. Um, people, uh, even if it's a business to business scenario, people like to buy from uh, suppliers and companies that uh, are proven in areas that uh, they are in. So uh, content that uh, we're gonna talk about on the next page, uh, social media, the icons and links, uh, we recommend opening a new window. So all social media networks, all relevant. Uh, multiple contact options. We talk about having contact information in both the header and the footer of your website, as well as uh, a complete contact page. Uh, trust is uh, becoming a major uh, authority way to uh, optimize your website. So trust uh, can be are things such as having a terms and conditions page, a privacy policy, a cookie statement, and there's trust badges as well that are particularly important for uh, if you're selling e-commerce, uh, you need to have those trust badges that ensure that uh, data is secure. Um, Lastly, uh, for website optimization is uh, measuring your traffic with uh, Google Analytics. So you're measuring uh, both traffic and other metrics. So very important. And then finally, uh, paid search, we talked about a bit, uh, including PPC and uh, remarketing. So let's talk about content. And um, again, our website is now the foundation of your marketing program, so website content is very important. Uh, case studies are reportedly one of the top uh, types of content that customers and prospects seek out. Um, guides, also called white papers in some industries, more technical industries, manuals, ebooks, uh, all very important. Uh, video is an uh, important type of content, especially for younger audiences. Um, and video, especially YouTube, ha um, has a lot of SEO, a lot of meta associated with it. So uh, that's one of the reasons we love video so much. And webcasts like the one we're doing today is, uh, is a type of content. Um, and I'll just mention uh, another uh, type of website content is is blogging so uh, blogs on many different subjects are important uh, uh, types of website content so and uh, surveys and studies uh, could be a way to build uh, thought leadership uh, about your your brand uh, for the industry so let's talk about social media. And uh, I've mentioned uh, business to business or B2B versus business to consumer or B2C because uh, social media is gonna be different. So for B2B, the leading social network is LinkedIn. And there's uh, a few facets to that. There's your personal profile uh, along with your company page and then uh, groups as well. So, um, now, YouTube is uh, very important uh, for B2B and B2C, and uh, that YouTube network is uh, the second largest uh, search engine, uh, only
only behind its parent company, Google. So lots of meta associated with YouTube, and we'd like to bring those embed codes of YouTube videos over to the primary website. Facebook is certainly the largest uh, social media network in the world, and uh, it is important for both B2B and B2C scenarios. Uh, Facebook business pages are, are uh, excellent uh, uh, and show up high in search results. Uh, Twitter is an important network. And uh, then as we move into B2C, uh, Instagram and Pinterest end up uh, becoming very important social networks. So uh, let's talk about advertising and publicity. And again, and again there may be some differences here uh, between B2C and B2B. Um, so there are local and national directories and listings and profiles that you want to participate in. Um, if you are a regional brand, if you're a construction services brand, a uh, newspaper uh, is still an option along with local magazines. Um, advertising is expensive, so we often look at classified advertising as an inexpensive way to utilize these mediums. Uh, billboard might be an option if you're local and regional. And then certainly, uh, more traditional uh, job site signs if you're a construction services company. Uh, let's talk about PR, so news announcements to uh, those newspapers that you might not be able to afford to advertise in, but uh, you can get a news announcement uh, published uh, for free. So PR being uh, by definition free. And then next, uh, article writing and placement. Again, uh, if you're a thought leader in your category, you can uh, write and uh, conduct media relations and submit articles to publications, to uh, networks, etc., cetera, and, and try and get placements. So that media relations that I was just uh, discussing. And, and uh, you know, the coup d'etat, the of course, the creme de la creme is to get a broadcast interview on you know, local news or national news, that kind of thing. So, so all excellent uh, marketing tactics. Uh, so I'll, I'll close here with uh, self-improvement. And, and these are some of the plugs for our Construction Marketing Association. We've got a uh, book, Modern Marketing for Construction Brands, that, that you can buy. Uh, we offer a professional certification program, the Certified Construction Marketing Professional, and that designation and license, so I encourage you to look at that. And then last but not least, uh, the CMA has a career center, both for employees uh, seeking jobs and for employers seeking uh, talent. So uh, please do check out our career center. And with that, I will open it up to uh, Q&A. So please uh, do ask your questions. And uh, I do have uh, a first question uh, regarding direct mail. Is there a role uh, for direct mail in local contractor marketing? And, uh, and I would say that um, that generally um, direct mail is uh, dying, but if you are a local trade contractor or remodeler, I, I do think that direct mail is an option. And um, there are some programs through the USPS that allow you to distribute um, to a zip code radius, uh, whether miles or or residential number of residential houses uh, for a package price that uh, uh, can be very very cost effective. So that is that is one role uh, for direct mail. Uh, if you're a national brand, I would say that direct mail could be cost prohibitive uh, because of the incumbent costs of 
postage of printing and um, and then you know the lack of response to direct mail because of all the junk mail so so it's a tricky one uh, I would say that direct mail is uh, should not be a primary strategy but uh, but maybe a secondary strategy so uh, that is a question thank you for that um, another question is uh, uh, why is social media a top local tactic and um, well first of all social media is is free so um, social advertising has some costs associated with it but Facebook advertising it can be extremely cost effective. So, so again, uh, depending on that scenario, B to C or B to B, social advertising and social media may be attractive. We have seen in analytics that social media uh, can generate um, in a mature program with active social media, active content marketing and support of active social media, that social media can deliver upwards of 30% or more of the traffic to your website. So, and traffic is one of the indicators of search authority. So, so why wouldn't you want that type of traffic? So if it is that significant, so, so we feel very strongly and, uh, and then if we move the topic, of social media over to local marketing. Um, there are a lot of uh, local social media opportunities as well, uh, including uh, news and media outlets that are local regional that you can interact with. And, and uh, I would say if you wanna put some fuel on that social media that you could um, include or weave in a some kind of cause marketing and maybe your brand is giving away a proceeds to the any sales on this uh, this day this week what have you to a very uh, good local or regional cause and uh, and donating money to that cause and that could end up uh, um, helping with both the social media opportunity as well as uh, the publicity opportunity. So uh, sometimes when you do uh, a cause uh, like that, where you're raising money, you can get a public service announcement uh, uh, on a broadcast outlet, outlet like a, a radio station. So, so that's an opportunity as well. Again, depending on your scenario. So. Uh, so those are the questions uh, that uh, came in and thank you for those. So just going to, uh, got a couple of more messages here before we, we close out and uh, a little background about CMA. We're focused on uh, the marketing of construction related products and services, uh, providing resources, education, training and professional certification and a career center. Coming soon, uh, CMA will provide marketing services, so look for that in the near future. You can find us at constructionmarketingassociation.org or our award-winning blog, Construction Marketing Blog. We have a LinkedIn group, and there is that career center I spoke of. Um, our upcoming webcasts are our annual social media summit in September, and in November we have a, a special webcast on construction software. So I did mention uh, resources before, and we have some good ones here. Uh, contractor website best practices uh, in the CMA blog. And then uh, local SEO for contractors uh, from our sponsored Modern Marketing Partners. We have part one and part two, along with a blog on uh, local citations and bright local. So, uh, so do check that out. Uh, we talked about the CCMP program, there's a link for that, the book, and the Career Center, so all links for that in this resources, which again will be sent along, a PDF will be available to anyone who has attended. So I'd like to uh, thank you uh, for attending today, 
and um, and invite you to future webcasts and to take a look at the CMA website, which will be updated in the next few weeks uh, with more resources. Uh, so I invite you to stop back. And with that, uh, uh, thank you again and uh, best of luck to you. You had my contact information uh, prior. You're welcome to send me an email at neil at mark, uh, construction marketing association dot org. Thank you.